Well, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I say it all the time. It is a choice to rejoice, and I choose to rejoice and celebrate the Lord for the great things that he's doing in all of our lives. Uh, so a blessed, wonderful day to all of God's amazing people. Thank you so much for joining me on today. We are here every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m., releasing fresh content for you. Um, if you are a first-time viewer on this channel, um, we talk about uh, encouragement, motivation, inspiration. Uh, we talk about daily things that we deal with in our walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. We talk about things uh, in life, um, in, in the general phase of life. Um, and so we're just here to, to do what the Lord has called, appointed, and anointed us to do. So thank you so much for joining me. I want to thank all of my brand new subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, connecting with our YouTube community and our YouTube family. Um, thank you in advance for sharing, liking, uh, and subscribing to this content if you have not already done so. Now, according to my statistics, most of you that um, are viewing have not subscribed. So I'm asking if you would take a moment today to go ahead and subscribe to this content. Um, we have we have many, 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 many viewers, but I need you to just go ahead and take the next step and connect and subscribe to my YouTube content. I want to thank all of you that are seeding and sowing into this ministry. Um, you can do so uh, through Cash App at dollar sign Esther Sanctious and you seed and sow, tithe whatever you so feel led and so desire to do so. Um, everything that is given to this ministry, that submitted to this ministry, we're putting it right back into the ministry so that we can expand the platforms that God has, uh, that he's making available and has made available to us. We want to maximize our opportunity to share in the gospel, the good news message of the Lord Jesus Christ. So thank you for your confidence in seeding and sowing into the ministry. Listen, I want you to take a look. I'm wearing my shirt, Believers Believe and Believers Receive. Now, this t-shirt is available uh, on the I Speak Tees website. Uh, I want to encourage you to go ahead and get your t-shirt. It will bless your life. This t-shirt was birthed from our book, Believers Believe and Believers Receive, which is also available at amazon.com as well as books a million if you go to their website you can get your copy right away um, so you can get the book and you can get the t-shirt um, believers believe and believers receive powerful word uh, if you are just uh, wanting to learn some faith principles i encourage you to get my book the lord allowed us to write this book just about a year ago and we're getting ready to work on our next book. So we're super excited about that. Listen, as always, I am going to give you a moment to get your Bibles, to get your notepads, to get your iPads. And we are coming right back with the gospel message, the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to talk about confidence on today. So give me a moment. I'm going to review a couple of my notes. And then we're coming back to share with you what the Lord has shared with us. I am Apostle Esther. I'm simply an ambassador. Give me a moment. We'll be right back. As promised, we are right back. You know, uh, for some time now, we have been talking about um, seeking the kingdom of God from Matthew 6 and 33. We've been talking about the kingdom within. And then we've been giving you building blocks um, that we've been teaching on to build our faith 
to know that the kingdom is within us. The word of the Lord says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And so we've been teaching from that to teach you how to operate in this kingdom principle to know that the kingdom within you has been imputed, has been deposited in you by the Lord to cause us to expand in the earth realm, to bring forth the supernatural glory uh, in our lives so that not only are we blessed, but we can be a blessing to others. And so when we talk about the kingdom within, it's already on the inside of you. And we have to take ownership of what the word of the Lord is speaking to us and move forward in that faith and in that level of confidence. So we're going to be reading out of the King James translation, Psalm 27. I'm going to read just a couple of passages for you um, on this morning. Let's look at verse one. And the word of the Lord says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Verse three, though an, uh, though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. That latter portion says, in this will I be confident. Verse four, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. He shall hide me in his pavilion and in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore, I will offer in his tabernacle the sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thy saddest seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Verse 9, hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Verse 10, when my father and my mother have forsaken me, then the Lord will take me up. Well, we may as well go ahead and read the rest of this chapter on today. Verse 11, Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Verse 12, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. Verse 13, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Verse 14, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yesterday, we talked about the strength of God. The day before that, we talked about the power of God. And today, we want to talk about having confidence, the confidence of God operating in and through our lives. Now, we understand here that David was writing this Psalms and he understood all of the impossibilities, all of the things that were, were tracking his life, and they were not such favorable things. And so we see that David was dealing with his enemies. He was dealing with his adversaries. He was dealing with false witnesses. He was dealing with violent men. But it was true of David <laughs> that his confidence rested in the Lord. So no matter what the adversaries were rising up and charging against him, he said, in this thing, will I be confident? And so confidence means that we take 
our faith to a position where it's beyond what we normally would trust and say, you know what? I know everything is going to work out. That's just kind of my little uh, uh, definition of it. But, but it means that we trust God that whatever the outcome is, because in the beginning, he already said it is good. We know that it's going to be a good outcome. It's not good until God is done with it. It's not good until God has finished it. It is not good until God has completed what he's began in your life. Because the Bible says, being confident of this one thing in Philippians, that he that has begun a good work in me, he is well able to perfect that thing. And he's well able to perform that thing until the day of Jesus Christ. Listen, our hope of glory, our eternal father, our everlasting God, our Prince of Peace, our wonderful counselor, he will never fail us. So whatever assignment God has over your life, you must stand firm in the confidence of God that he is going to see me through. He's going to bring me in. He's going to bring me out. It's just a process. My husband and I were talking yesterday and we were saying, most people get lost in the process. We start off okay, but then in the end result, we, you know, because we don't get there as soon as we think we should, or we don't know the entire process, we get distracted and we get off trail, we get off course, we get off the journey. But I want to encourage you on today. David said, you got to be confident of this one thing. I am going to acquire what the Lord said. Why? Because the kingdom is within me. I am going to accomplish what the Lord said over and concerning my life. Why? Because the kingdom of God is within me. And where the kingdom of God is, God will not fail. He said, before my word will fail over your life, this entire heaven and earth would pass away. So we're in covenant with the covenant keeper. We're in covenant with the one that created the heavens and the earth. And so we have to rest in the confidence of God that it shall be unto me just like the Lord said. Whatever he said over my life, I believe it. Whatever he said over my life, I receive it. Believers believe and believers receive. I am confident of this one thing, that whatever God has spoken over my life, he is already... God has already completed it. We just have to have the faith to walk through it because we start, I say this all the time, at the beginning and God starts at the ending. So our faith has to align up with the word of God, with the confidence of God, with the peace of God, with the grace of God, with the love of God, with the hope of glory, that it is going to be well. It's already well. So I want to encourage you on the day. Be confident in what the Lord has spoken over your life. Yes, we're going to go through processes. We're going to go through sometimes some, some ups and downs. But those ups and downs, what it does is it comes to stabilize our lives so that we can um, overcome every obstacle and every adversary. That's what David said. He said, I know that my enemies and my foes are upon me. He's, but, but he started this off. He said, but the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And he said that even when my, my enemies and my foes came up on me to eat up my flesh, Listen, that took some confidence to know that God was going to bring him out, that God was going to bring him through. That's why the word of the Lord says, we walk by faith and not by sight. Because when God says something, my faith says, it stabilizes me, it encourages me, it gives me that firm foundation that God is going to see me through. I say this a lot of times, a song says, it is on Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. And I say a lot of times we can shake on the rock, but the rock will never shake under us. So my confidence is whatever the Lord said, I'm going to get there. I'm going to go through my process. This is what Apostle Chris and I, we made a covenant. We're like, honey, we're going to get there. We're going to keep encouraging. We're going to keep pushing each other until we see the full total manifestation of the word of God in and concerning our lives. Why do we say that? Because the word of the Lord says that the earth is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God to come forth, to produce what God said. I said in this book that I wrote, Believers Believe and Believers Receive, 
You must become the living word. When you become the living word, you are wrapped in that confidence. You are wrapped in that hope. You are wrapped in that assurance that everything that God said concerning my life, it is going to come forth. Just like he spoke to Lazarus in that tomb, he said, Lazarus, come forth. Listen, you got to let the hope of glory speak up out of your spirit and tell it to come forth. Because if it, if God has said for it to live, it cannot die. And we have to take the authority of God's word, the power of God's word, the strength of God's word, the confidence of God's word, the grace of God's word, and allow God's word to be made manifest in our lives. Well, you already know, I am so super excited about the hope of glory, the kingdom of God being on the inside of me. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to motivate you, to let you know that God is not through with us yet. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's about like uh, when I got my book, when it, it finally came, I was excited to, to, to see the finished product. But listen, I never got to the finished product until I wrote the first word. <laughs> That's good right there. A lot of us, we're not even beginning what God has told us to begin because we're waiting on someone else to push us. We're waiting on someone else to encourage us. We're waiting on someone else to inspire us. I preach this. Apostle Chris teaches this. All we need is one word from the Lord. When the Lord gives you that word, that word is an established word. That word is a word that will manifest victory in, over, and concerning your life. So when God speaks, what other voice, what other voice do we need? Sometimes, like I preached before and taught, we need to silence every voice and hear the voice of God so that we can get the fullness of the assignment that he has released over and concerning our lives. Well, you already know I'm Apostle Esther. I'm super, super, super excited about this assignment that the Lord has me on. We have, uh, I'm going to do a teaching on that, uh, the written word of God, where the, the word of God is God's uh, written word that he gives, he releases daily oracles to us. He does it every day. He gives us fresh manna. And that's what we come on here to do is to share that fresh manna with you. Well, we're here every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. releasing fresh content. If you have not subscribed, you do not want to miss the content that is being released on this YouTube platform. I want to thank you so very much. You already know, yes, I'm going to pray with us today before we get ready to, to get out of here. But we're going to be back on tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. It is our day of prayer, so you want to make sure that you are connecting with us so that we can agree with you with whatever it is you need God to do over and concerning your life. He will do just that. Father, I thank you for every person that is under the sound of my voice. I thank you that your word shall not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish and it shall prosper in the thing whereto you sent it. So, Lord, we send your preceding word. We send your written word. We send your Logos word. We send your rhema word on today. And we thank you in advance for manifesting this word. I thank you, Lord God, for anointing us afresh in our confidence level that whatever we're facing, you have already written the story. You're omnipresent. You're omniscient. And so, God, you and you're omnipotent. So, God, you have already written the story for us. We just need to come in alignment with your word and walk in obedience to your word. Father, if there's a person that is listening under the sound of my voice that is not saved, I ask you to wash them in your blood and fill them with your love. Give them a mind and a heart and a desire to serve you all the days of their lives. Be their Lord, be their master, be their king, be their hope of glory. And Father, I will forever give you praise. I will forever give you glory. I will forever give you honor. I thank you, Lord God, for blessing this YouTube platform. I thank you, Lord God, for subscribers, subscribers beyond my comprehension, viewers beyond my comprehension, that this word will be sown into good ground and it will bring forth a much harvest. I thank you that people are now clicking and subscribing to my YouTube content. I bless you for the favor of God on this platform. I thank you for the grace of God. And I thank you for the mandate of excellence over and in my life 
that I can continue to go forward and declare the good news gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your assignment that you've given to me, oh God. And I thank you for breathing afresh, even today. Breathe afresh, breathe anew on it, oh God. I thank you that your voice is being echoed in the earth realm through this content, through this platform. And I do give you praise, I do give you glory. And I do give you honor. Why, Lord, do I say this and I confess this? Because the kingdom is on the inside of me. And, Father, you be magnified in the kingdom that is on the inside of me. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing this, your people, to have an amazing day. In Jesus' matchless name, we do declare and we do decree. Amen and amen. Again, I am Apostle Esther. I'm simply an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. That means I'm a good news carrier. Super excited about this assignment that the Lord has me on. I will be back on tomorrow. We will be praying for you. We will be praying for your needs on tomorrow. So make sure you join us at 10 a.m. Again, know that Apostle Christopher Sanchez and myself love you with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. As always, have an amazing day. Again, thank you for sharing, liking, and subscribing. God bless you.